Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a new moon reading. So this is for the new moon on July 20th. Okay, but keep in mind that that doesn't mean this is reading is going to be just for July 20th. Okay, these energies can happen at any time. This is what this new moon uh, energy it has to say. Okay, so we're going to start right here. Self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. So this new moon is about self-love. Okay, It's about nurturing yourself, healing yourself. It's about doing whatever it takes for you, putting you first in every aspect, okay? So this new moon is about you. It's about you focusing on you. Let's get one of these. It's all about you feeling good, loving your body, loving your soul, loving where you've been, loving where you're going, loving all of you as you are, accepting you as you are. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. The only, one, the only person you have to prove yourself to is you. Relationship. Oh my goodness. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. Interesting, and I was going to say God. The only person you have to prove yourself to is God and you, but God is within you. Okay, interesting. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God, and every other relationship follows from there. To attract, heal, or balance a relationship, then snuggle more closely with your loving creator. As you feel safe and loved within, so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper. It's the, this is the truth right here. Okay, When you love yourself, that's when true love comes in. That's what true love is. Okay, Self-love is true love. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. And every other relationship follows from there. This is truly all about self-love that's what this new moon is bringing in it's bringing in the energy of oneness and wholeness and self-acceptance let's go with this one card please no that's a that's more than that's a couple a few one card, please. Justice. Justice. So this new moon is, is going to bring some sort of balance to your life. Justice is all about balance. It's all about everything going in your favor. Everything turning out as it should. So this new moon is about uh, justice. This is the laws of karma. This is, this is uh, seeing the truth, accepting the truth. It's also about consequences and, uh, I don't know, maybe it's retribution. That's just what I heard in my head, retribution. I don't know what that means, but... This the justice is uh, being honest and being upfront. It's, it's getting to the heart of the matter. It's truths coming out. It's um, bringing balance. But this justice card looks as though there's some sort of uh, accident. It looks like there's an accident here. The law could be involved, and this could have to. There could be some sort of um, 
altercation because it looks like there's an altercation here. Um, I'm not sure if a law gets called or if, if the law gets involved in your your situation. Okay, maybe you're acting out of self-love and you have to protect yourself or you decide you want a divorce or you whatever. I mean, this is the this is the law. Okay, justice is about the law, whether it's the universal law or the um powers that be, whatever it is, justice is about whatever it needs to happen to bring law and order to a situation. Um, it looks like there's some sort of conflict here. There's definitely some sort of conflict that may arise right around the, the new moon. There could be a car accident. I'm just, I just got to tell you what I see. There could be a fight. Okay. There could be a fight. There could be a, um, you know, somebody wasn't paying attention or there was some sort of road rage or something like that. And, you know, maybe the police get called or somebody ends up in court or something like that. Looks like there's some sort of bang up here. There's buzzing too. You see those bees. There's, there's, there's all kinds of, uh, this is getting stung. Somebody may get stung. You know what a sting is? Okay. So just, I'm just saying there's different energies around this new moon. So there could be a sting. Okay, so whatever that means for you, this is justice. This is the laws of karma that sees right through the situation, that sees straight through the lies. So there is going to be some sort of justice that is served right around, or karma. Okay, it's going to be karma or justice that is served right around this new moon. Okay, there's something's going to come to a stop. Okay, obviously it's, it's very sudden stop. All of a sudden there's a big boom. Okay, and things come to a halt um, and it causes an uproar of some sort. Okay, so just be prepared for that. But anyway, um, hmm. what do we have? What do we have? Ooh, the tower reverse. Now the tower reverse is extreme upheaval. There definitely could be a fight. Okay. Uh, this is a painful change that you never saw coming, and this is something you never saw coming as well. So something. This is this is something you never saw coming. This is extreme. This is, this could be extreme health problems. Could be a loss, a permanent loss, a painful change. Somebody is moving there. They are involved in a false sense of security. They've been pretending that they're stable. They're not stable. They could. This is falling down, uh, falling apart. Somebody is falling apart. They're unstable. They're insecure. Their home, their business, their life, their their uh, organs shutting down. Something is going on. This is this is extremely uh, unstable. This is a major life change. There's some sort of disturbance. Um, this is an uproar. This is um, definitely an uproar. So there's going to be some sort of fated event that leads to a total. Okay, this is totaled. It's a totaled. Okay, that's total. That's total. It's total loss. Total loss. This is a total loss. You're going to need to love yourself. Okay, that's why this is here. So something is, some. this is a total loss. You're going to need to start over. And that's why this self-love is here. Because uh, attract, heal, or balance a relationship with yourself. Your primary relationship is with yourself and God. So there's a, this is a false sense of security. Somebody has been holding on to a false sense of security. Hmm. Four of Cups and the towers in the background here. Interesting. Now this Four of Cups is very sad, discontent, missing an opportunity, focusing on a loss. This is somebody who has been missing an opportunity. Not realizing that there's an opportunity for happiness someplace else. Holding on to a false sense of security. King of Pentacles. Now this is 
somebody who is very clever, very cunning, a hard worker, uh, focused on abundance, holding on to stability, wants stability, works hard for stability. We have a very hard worker here that is probably materialistic. Okay, the King of Pentacles is materialistic. Those things really don't make him happy or make them happy. It doesn't make them that happy. Just saying, this person's not happy. They're missing an opportunity for love. Work, 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 and work, and work, and things, and things, and things. That's a false sense of security. That is. That is a false sense of security. It's a false uh, foundation. It's it's not uh, love, okay? Anyhow, um... Now, justice is about seeing the truth. So the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out about some sort of false sense of security. It's going to crumble. This false foundation is going to crumble. This false foundation is... Uh, it's like it's fake or whatever it is. Five of Cups reversed. This is this is uh, extreme sadness. It is extremely false as well because this is an extreme and this is an extreme. This is uh, deep depression, prolonged grief. This is grieving as well. So somebody has been in a period of prolonged grief holding on to a false sense of security, holding on, this one's holding on as well, holding on, thinking it's stable, trying hard to make it stable, working really, really hard to make it stable, hoping for a reunion, somebody's been hoping for a reunion with, an, with a false sense of security, but it's over, it's a permanent loss. It is. The tower reverse of permanent loss. It's time to move on. Let, let it go. Okay? It's time to stop crying about it and accept the truth. And it is what it is. Okay? It's totaled. It's, to it's a total loss. Uh, it's time to get something new. It is. It's time to get something new. Anyhow. King of Pentacles is needing, you know, you need to be practical. You need to be realistic. Work on yourself. Know your value. The King and Queen of Pentacles is all about value. So it's like, hold on to your value. Know your value. Turn your back on the false sense of security. It's not making you happy. You're missing, in both these cards, missing an opportunity for love. And it's, and it's because you don't love yourself. Somebody thinks another person completes them. When the fact is, is you complete you. Anyhow. Seven of Cups. Oh my gosh, there's some sort of confusion here. Major confusion. And this is a card of consequences. Remember, what you own, owns you. Do you want to be alone, sitting underneath a tree for the rest of your life? This is alone and this is alone. Do you want to be alone for the rest of your life? I don't know who that is for. But this is sad. This is sad. This is sad. This is sad. It really is. This is somebody who is in a state of illusion. There's a many other options. And you can be in a relationship and still be alone, just so you know. There's many other options here with the Seven of Cups. Explore another avenue. This is, this is like, this is what they're trying to say. You have another option. You have another option. There's a choice here. There is a choice, but there's also consequences. You can choose to be sad and alone and hold on to a false sense of security that is a complete loss, or you can be practical and realistic and turn your back and move on and get something new. The 
four of swords reverse. Somebody has been in a period of stagnation. Very stag, stagnation, or whatever you want to call it. Very exhausted, fed up, alone, sick of it. Feeling empty and dead inside. Somebody has been uh, waiting for too long. This is a dead end. Holding on to a dead end. Very, very, very frustrated. There could also be um, some health issues here with the Four of Swords reversed and the Tower reversed. We could have somebody here that has some health issues. You know, stress kills. When you have to pretend to be somebody you're not, that's freaking stressful. So I feel like, you know, somebody, and this is definitely illusion, and it, it is. So somebody has been really missing an opportunity. They've been missing an opportunity for true love. Didn't we talk about true love at the beginning? I think we did. I can't remember. They've mi they're missing an opportunity for true love because they're focused on a false sense of security that doesn't really bring them happiness. But anyhow, and it's because, you know, it looks good. It looks good, but it ain't stable. It ain't stable. It ain't secure. It's not even happy. There's no happiness there. Um, there may be there may be financial security, but mm, that's about it. This is really is a dead end with the Four of Swords. It really is a dead end. This person has been thinking about um, choosing another option anyway. Whoever this person is in this reading, they have been thinking, analyzing. Is this stable? Should I keep holding on? You know. Should I let this go? Should I should I end this period of stagnation? Should I move forward? You know, so this person has been thinking about their options. They have. They're sick of waiting. This is sick of it. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And you look, this is in a graveyard. Okay, there's there's been a death. It's over. Okay, there's 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 been some sort of uh, death. Okay, it's over. Stop going back to the situation that is, it's dead. Okay, it's dead. It's, it's, a de it's dead. Once it's over, it's over. You know, explore another avenue. I mean, I hate to say that. It's time to uh, be practical, be realistic, know your value, love yourself. And live again. It's time to live again. It's time to be happy. There's no happiness here. It's time to build a new foundation. That one crumbled for a reason. It, it, it did. It did. It crumbled for a reason. Somebody wasn't paying attention when they, when they, when they got involved. They were moving too fast. Somebody was moving too fast. They weren't paying attention. And now there's, you know, there's some sort of accident or uh, injustice here. Somebody may have gotten hurt. Devil. The devil reversed. This is, is a disaster. It is a disaster. This is a... Uh, a lot of materialism. Somebody has been suffering. They've been in a desperate situation. A deep, 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 dark place. Pretending, okay? They got some sort of instant gratification from something that tied them to it. And they couldn't break free. And now the universe ha is giving them the opportunity to break free. But it's like they don't have the ability to do so they do you do but you don't you know what i'm saying things are getting worse <laughs> i'm telling you what things are getting worse in this false foundation at home or at the job or within yourself and there could be health issues that are worsening okay something is getting worse 
or an addiction is getting worse or a codependency is getting worse. Somebody has allowed themselves to become slave to uh, an addiction. And addictions come in many ways. It's, it's staying with somebody just because you can't be alone. That's one of them. But the devil is breaking free from a false sense of security. So somebody is breaking free. They are going to be breaking free from this suffering. Things have gotten very, very, very bad. There's been a lot of anxiety. There's been a a lot of depression. There's been a lot of despair. They've waited a really long time for things to change and things aren't changing because it's a total loss. You need to accept the truth. So somebody is going to need to accept. They're going to accept. And, and it's like, I mean, justice is a card of karma and karma sees right through the lies. It sees right through it. You can't you can't get away with it. You can't get away with pretending. So somebody has been pretending and it's like karma or justice or whatever it is, is coming in to cause an uproar that forces somebody, because this is forces, that forces somebody to break free from something that they have been slave to and codependent on. I don't know. I mean, this is this could be a death. Okay, the devil reverse and the four of swords reverse. It, it could be. I got to be honest with you. There's there there is a a parting of ways. Put it that way. Severing ties with this devil reverse. That's severing ties with a toxic, unhealthy situation that felt good at first. It felt really, 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 really good at first. This was great at first. Things were going good. You were just uh, going right along, right? Everything was going good. Then all of a sudden, bang. It's over. Just like that. That's exactly what this is, too. It's over just like that. Boom. Done. And it happened so fast, too. It's like you didn't, you definitely didn't see it coming. So something is going to happen that you definitely didn't see coming. It's like all it's like an accident. Okay, that's the and and it's karma, okay? Karma brings about something and I don't know if it's an accident. It could well, I said that, didn't I? So it looks like it I mean it could be an accident. It could be extreme health problems. There's a collapse here or a smash or a bang up or whatever it is. So it, it it's just a big bang, okay? It's a big uh it ends with a bang, put it that way. Um hits the ground. It's the end of an unhealthy, toxic situation. I feel like somebody is saying goodbye. They're saying goodbye. And they're doing it out of self-love. But there is the universe involved here with the Justice card and the Tower being that first card that came out. This is the universe. This is, this is the towers ruled by Uranus, which is about extreme change that comes all of a sudden. It's a shock. This is absolutely a shock. So this is a shocking, fated event that forces somebody to rebuild or start anew. Because where they've been, they haven't been happy. But they've been slave to this situation and probably refusing to move on because it was comfortable or it felt so good at the beginning, you know. Maybe because of financial reasons they stayed. That's the wrong reason to stay. Karma will kick you in the ass for that. But we got so many people that don't realize they are really, really about the money and they're going to learn the hard way. Anyhow, um...
not even seeing with the Four of Cups that love is what matters. What matters is love. Not your codependencies, not your materialism, not your things. Not your beautiful car, not your beautiful house. That's not what matters. I hope you aren't the one that's saying that it does. Good luck.